Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 17, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want to get our signal service, you can head over to Patreon. The link is down below, and there we will get our signal service, basically all our trades, and you will also get um, access to our full technical analysis. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound in US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly today. We are down around 0 0.23. And uh, yes, we have rallied a little bit uh, from the very lows. But at this point, we are about to turn around. You can see the MACD is turning around, the CC RSI is turning around, CCI. Uh, Stochastic hasn't turned around yet, but it is more likely that we'll go back towards the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, that is around the 1310 level. If we go all the way down to the 50 moving average, that is around 1296. And the very highs here should be significant um, resistant. So if you look at US dollar um, uh, yen, so this has been a very turbulent today mainly due to the announcement of uh, the new vaccine and also because there was a lot of very good data in, in, uh, in the world economy at the, today. But if you look at the um, US yen, we rallied uh, very aggressively um, in the midst of the, of the day, but pulled back as well. And this should be basically a really, really uh, nasty warning sign that we are going to go lower which is also expected. It's expected for us to go towards this uh, trend line again. Technical indicators for this uh, this um, currency pair are looking fairly negative at this point. MACD hasn't turned across the signal line yet, but uh, the RSI is uh, technically flat. The CCI is turning around, and so is the, uh, the stochastic. And we basically stop exactly at the 20 moving average here at the Bollinger Band. If that breaks, then we are going to go much lower in this market, which is expected. Euro U, uh, US dollar, we have been very choppy today. We uh, broke down, rallied again, and we are still in the red, uh, just 0.09%. Uh, 09 so at this point, I think that we are going to go lower. Um, we are overbought still in the RSI. The, the stochastic, uh, or technically all these indicators are starting to look very weak are still very flat. So we are in the middle of nowhere, so there's no reason to buy this or sell this. We basically need this to get to, to one of these uh, major resistance support areas in order to basically enter this market. So the Aussie US dollar, we have rallied quite significantly, um, mainly due to the uh, increase in, in uh, usually when there's a lot of increase in demand for commodities, for example, oil, and also copper and so on that um, Australia basically produces. There's a lot of demand for also that currency, and that is probably what is going on here. At this point, we are significantly overbought in this market. So just keep that in mind. We are 77, so significantly overbought. It is expected for this market to uh, pull back towards at least the 20 exponential moving average at 0 0.72. Um, uh, so keep that in mind. Technical indicators are still looking far, fairly positive, but this is a market that has run into major resistance, uh, our currency bear, I mean, that has run into major resistance at this area here. So keep that in mind. This is most likely going to turn around and head towards the downside again. US CAT, Canadian dollar, again, um, we have rallied towards the, the 40 exponential moving average, and then we have broken down the last uh, three trading days. Technical indicators for this currency pair are all looking very dim, so most likely we're going to go back towards this, this um, support area here. If that breaks, then we are going much, much lower with this here. There's no interest in basically buying this. We are in a, basically on in a, in a downtrend, and as long as that is the case, then we are we, every rally should be uh, basically sold into. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new video videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where we over, uh, have now over 70 traders trading on a daily basis. So 
Thank you and good luck.